I'm Violet Rimaliotis, Executive Director of Metro Migrant Resource Centre. The MRC has been an actively engaged organisation in the area for the past 25 years. We hope that this video will be able to showcase the broad range of services and programs that Metro MRC provides to its local constituency. The Post Integrated Humanitarian Service Scheme program provides expert immigration advice and assistance through casework and case management to newly arrived refugees and humanitarian entrants. Clients are also assisted with settlement issues such as accessing affordable and stable housing and with long-term poverty alleviation through the utility voucher system. It brokers the support of local charities and seeks to educate the mainstream sector to improve access and responsiveness to settlement needs and barriers. The Small and Emerging Settlement Program offers direct assistance and support to small and emerging groups and associations in the form of training and mentorship. Working towards self-sustenance of these communities, the program builds mutually respectful partnerships with different communities providing hands-on assistance in the areas of identifying community needs, writing funding applications, annual and financial reports, governance and training for management committee members. The project also offers computer classes, employment assistance and information sessions. The Arabic Settlement Program provides migrants from Arabic-speaking backgrounds with direct bilingual casework, information and referral services. The program focuses on women and families offering assistance to improve their integration into the Australian society. Topics of information sessions include education, family, relationships, cultural transition, health, housing, life skills, employment and legal issues. The project builds community links and provides cultural awareness to the mainstream sector to better target the needs of the Arabic community. The Generalist Settlement Program aims to address the general settlement needs of newly arrived migrant and refugee women and their families in the region. It provides casework and facilitates the development of mainstream and other agencies by building on established networks with local and government service providers. The project officer co-convenes the Canterbury Bankstown Migrant Interagency and the Regional Refugee and Humanitarian Settlement Planning Committee and actively participates in other interagencies, networks and their subcommittees. The Youth Mentoring Program addresses the complex needs of youth in the local area. It aims to empower migrant and refugee families through the consistent fostering of applicable leadership skills, education support alleviating poverty and to impact service delivery to members of these communities through partnering with local schools, parents and other service providers. Metro MRC convenes Aboriginal Child and Family Interagency in a West. This important network meeting is to coordinate services for Aboriginal community in the area. Major issues that affect these communities are poverty alleviation, referral services relating to accommodation, legal, educational, health and immigration matters, support with safe family environments, positive parenting strategies, youth and family issues, education on service use and community education on domestic violence. The program also facilitates an Indigenous playgroup for families with children of 0 to 4 at Marigville Connect. The Never Too Old program focuses on the prevention of chronic health problems in elderly people from cold communities. It aims to enhance physical activity and educate target groups in the areas of healthy eating and seeks to achieve permanent lifestyle changes and behaviour patterns. Prevention of obesity in local primary schools is also targeted by encouraging community members, including parents and grandparents, to participate in the project to teach cultural dance to school children. The Generalist Family Program aims to support families in the Marrickville local government area. Available services include casework, referrals to appropriate services, education, training and information on housing, employment and accommodation. Capacity building is an important goal of the program whereby families and individual community members will be supported to confidently address the issues they are facing. Aiming to empower young people, youth 
will be targeted through a mentoring program and school holiday support programs. The African Family Program is committed to providing support to families of African backgrounds with casework. The main areas of support include housing, employment, accommodation, education and training, recreation and culture and referrals to appropriate services. Parenting issues are addressed with African families residing in Marigville. The centre runs programs in partnership with the Department of Education and Training and with Connect Marigville, such as the Families in Cultural Transition program targeting African women. The Greek community is recognised as one of the largest ethnic groups in the area. The Greek Family program is information based and incorporates casework and a referral system. The grandparents have extensive caring roles with their grandchildren. They have limited English and don't access services for children, young people and families in the area. Further, presenting issues affecting the Greek community include family problems, family law matters, financial matters, bankruptcy, depression and social isolation. The caseworkers of the Vietnamese Family Program have established strong links with the Vietnamese Community Network in New South Wales and the local Vietnamese community. Vietnamese family support workers facilitated a women's group and social network based at Maryville Connect who meet fortnightly. It offers Vietnamese women opportunities to get to know other mums and includes group discussions and guest speakers. The information sessions cover topics like education, immigration, housing, health, employment issues, including domestic violence. Based on the identified increase in the need for tax assistance among members of the newly arrived groups, including members of the mainstream community, Metro MRC continues to implement the Australian Tax Office endorsed Tax Help Program. This ensures that hundreds of disadvantaged people have access to information and assistance completing their tax return on time.